Hey, what's up, guys? Of course, it's me, Doc, from SampleKings.com. And you know something? There's an update out for the MPC 2.15.0.18. <laughs> and that update is coming out pretty soon. Now, I just launched my MPC software right here, as you can see. It takes a little while for this thing to launch. I have so many freaking plugins because I have all the softwares. I don't care what it is. You probably can see it on your computer. I own all these freaking softwares, so I have to keep up. I have a lot of plugins for every single software from Pro Tools to Logic, Ableton Live to uh, what else? Studio One, FL Studio, Reasons. So it's loading up everything. That's why it takes a while to load up here. But once it does load up, I want to look for the new software update, which is the 2.15.1, which came out today. And I'm checking it out right now as I go through my joint here, see what's going on with it. And th there it is. That's the update. So it's 2.15.1 is available. Yep, that's it. Looks pretty cool. Okay, so it's going to fix bug fixes. And it's got some sort of stability enhancements so we're going to keep things going in the right direction so when we go to here we're going to go to not downgrade but download here we're going to download it we got the file right there next let's press save it and it will save directly onto my computer i'm using chrome obviously see says google right there i'm using chrome to pull it off so hopefully that'll work really great and I don't know what you're going to use. We're going to use Safari or Chrome, but this is pretty simple stuff. You've done it before. If you haven't, you're going to learn about it right now, pretty much. And so I do my updates constantly to keep up with my machine uh, constantly. So I got preferences also. These are my audio preferences. You can see I'm using Telstream there. I'm also using the MPC uh, for the mic, which is right there, my mic. I can test that output also as well. And next is press the OK. Now, once that's all done, now what we're just going to do is wait for it to actually download and install this sucker. So I'm going to go to, let's see, I need to go to, not images, I'm going to go to documents actually. Oh, here we go. We're looking at it again, so we're going to look up here for documents. Nope, should be on the other then. We're going to go back to other, others right there. Yep, and then we see that that's downloading right now. It's unconfirmed, so it's still downloading. And once it does download, we will be ready for the next phase. You can see there's almost done. And it says one there. So anything I'm actually downloading today or currently right now. And I'm just waiting for that to fully download. Now, when it does download, it's going to probably have these enhancements to improve the 2.15.1. Because with 3.0 out right now, the public beta version, they're trying to fix stuff in the background. And they're improving on the stems. They're going to make sure stems works properly and get it better than ever. So they're fixing up the logarithm that they use to make sure stems separate properly in the right uh, frequency categories, you know, what's going to be vocals, bass, drums, and other, right? So they're going to make sure that locks in perfectly. Now, once this is fully downloaded, I have to go back and install it, but I first have to turn off, there it is, it's downloaded already, perfect. I first have to turn off the MPC software if it's on. So I want to make sure I check that out first. So now I want to find it there. I click on that one time and it launches that folder right there. That folder launches up. I open this folder up and we can see it's uh, 2.15.1.1 and there it is. So now I want to install this software onto my computer. I'm running a MacBook Pro and it's got an M1 Max chip inside of it. It's pretty cool. And so install, yep, let's install it right there. Uh oh, it says applications running, okay. So I go back into here, and I got to quit this sucker right there, and throw it out when I just quit it. Okay, good. We're going to quit that right there. That makes sense. And now we're back here, and click on that. Perfect. Now I got no problems. And now update NBC software. Yes, we want to do that. Okay, our task is no longer supported. I know that for so many years now. And I get to here, of course, do the prompts. Uh, install. Yes, install that sucker. Oh, I want that MPC expansion builder. I'm going to build something. And then we got here, we got this continue. We get to continue. Click on that right there. And you see, that's not too bad. I got I got about, so it's 1.3 gigabytes going to be installed. And I've got 4.86 terabytes, so I'm no problem at all. And keep the same location. I'm not trying to undo this thing. I just want to install where it was at before. And we'll press install. 
And of course, I got to add my password and codes in here or whatever to get this thing rolling. So uh, normally I, got, I have Touch ID on there, but I'm surprised it doesn't actually prompt that. So I guess it's something to do with their software. Install software. So now it's installing. Shouldn't take too long. And once it installs, I should be able to use everything uh, like I did before. I'm curious about the idea of the new stem separation setup where it's actually just an enhancement of it. It's a minor thing, but it's supposed to sound better, we believe. So that's the whole idea. Good. Let's close this out here and there. Perfect. Now, of course, I can close it out right there. <laughs> it's no problem. So next, I'm going to launch the software. As you can see, it takes a while to bounce here and get up and running. As always, um, I don't know why mine takes so long, but uh, we figured out we got too many plugins and it's just trying to load and gather them all together. But it's odd. I can pull up Logic and I won't have that problem. I'll pull up Pro Tools. It'll pick everything out. I'll pull up Ableton Live. It'll see every plugin I got. So I guess NPCs, uh, hopefully, they'll get to the point where there'll be one of these real DAWs and just like DAW it up. You know what I mean? Just come up, load up, strong, powerful, do its thing. But currently, it's not. So we're going to just watch and see what happens here as it pops up and down. It's bumping, loading, 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 loading. And once it gets through with that, I should be good. Then I'll see the software. It'll tell me you're running the latest software update, which is 2.15.11. And there you go. Now it's asking me to like uh, look at my preferences. I already did that, so I don't think there's no need to really do that again. And I just want to make sure that we get everything going on. But see, it's right there. All the stuff's the same as before. No deal. And then you'll see here, welcome to the new MPC. And of course, I'm running 2.15.1, which is great. No problem with that. I was running, it says, before you ran 2.15. So it shows us an update. It's already in there, which is good. And that's kind of cool with me. So now I click on this thing here, and this tells me all about the MPC software. Okay, so now that I've already downloaded the 2.15.1, and it's in my MPC software, what I want to do next is read some of the stuff here, what's going on. And that's in the support tab you'll see once you download, just click on that. And here it says MPC 15.1 software update compatibility. We have the MPC software is compatible with the Mac OS Sonoma, Monterey, and Ventura, and also with the Windows 10 and 11. Now downloading the software update. To update your MPC 2.15.1, Desktop software update, log on to your InMusic profile or just launch your computer software and you'll see it as I just showed you. And then you can update within the MPC2 uh, when prompted. Now also, below this is very important. We've got the MPC 2.15.1 firmware update. This release is for the MPC Key 37. MPC One Plus, the MPC XSE Special Edition, and the MPC Key 61, MPC One, MPC Live 2, MPC X, and MPC Live Hardware. Downloading the firmware update. To download the 2.15.1 firmware update, use the online updater or navigate to the MPC software. Right here it says here, let me get my cursor here, software and firmware downloads and select the appropriate download. Now for instructions on installing it, please visit the support page right here. Man, it's a really cool thing that's happening. It's a new feature, stem separation. It's minor logarithm improvements for better audio quality and stem separation. Note, these improvements result in increased processing time on standalone devices. So do this download, it's important. Check it out, it's gonna be kind of dope and we'll see what happens so here as you can see i've got this open here this is uh this folder right here Let me close this out actually you can see it this is the folder 2.15.1.1 i'll click on this again i open it up this is the installation i click here it's looking for whatever i'm going to show it i already have this hooked up already i'll click to here this is on the mpc one plus which i own and it says here well look what i already did it actually so let's update your mpc install these components whatever here but i already installed the software and i've also installed the uh reinstalled the software one driver that's the one we're going to use for the updating of the stem system and i already installed it already because actually when you install it first 
it tells you to turn the computer off so, and then you turn the computer off and you go back on again you should be running and have no problems so there's no problems if you need help you always go back here to release notes as you just saw before and you're there and you're good to go okay let's, let's close this out of here perfect now I'll close this out of here and I'm gonna check on my MPC one and check out the new update any questions give me a call up also if you need help of any kind on MPC rolling machine all the music software is Pro Tools, Logic, Digital Former, um, what else? Ableton Live, FL Studio, Studio One, whatever it is, you know what to do. You come to us at Sample Kings. Let's go right back to here. Let's show you what you got to do. You get right here at SampleKings.com. Boom. You get in here and say, okay, there's Sample Kings. Right here, you scroll down here. I'm scrolling down. And you get right down here, you'll see this. Right there, you can hit me up. It's 16 bucks for a lesson. We do have lesson packs also as well, like 10 hour packs, which has helped you with the NPC toy if you're brand new. And then you come down here, we have Cash App at 16 bucks. Venmo, 16 bucks. And if you need to use PayPal, it's pretty simple. Just go in our store and just do it. So here you'll see what we got the Rowan SP404, Mac, any MPC you got, of course, Mac computers, of course. Uh, let's see what else we got Machine, we got Logic, we got Ableton Live 11 or 12, we got Pro Tools. I don't care what you got in Pro Tools, we can fix it any way you want to fix it. We have FL Studio, we have Studio One, we know all these softwares totally, and we can master and mix for you. We also know how to use Final Cut Pro for video. And you want to add more hours, you can do that here too, as well. It's pretty simple. I said before, you can go to the store right up here, pop into the store, and boom, you're right here. You can pick what you want to get Zoom-wise, okay? That includes any lessons, like for 10-hour lesson packs, they're right here. Any questions, you hit me up, of course. You can, you saw my phone number? Did you see the number? Let me go back here again. This is always open constantly. You know, you can leave a message or whatever. Here it is, a number right there. Contact me, what's up? I'm Doc. And I want to thank you for checking the video out. Oh, yeah, you got to subscribe because my new series is coming out, the MPC 3.0 Public Beta, and the first one's coming out tonight. It's going to be a series of about eight little videos, maybe about 20 minutes each, <laughs> and you'll check it out. I'll see you in a few videos. Later.